When I was growing up, I could feel what people needed in their bodies for healing. I just could feel what they needed and I didn't really know how to describe that or that not everybody felt that way. Working with Imperial Stock Ranch is totally amazing. It's such a dream because uh, from a sustainability perspective, we have control over every single part of the process. Sourcing the wool, obviously, and spinning the yarn and dyeing the yarn and weaving. I have never worked with a medium so close to me. And I I've just have never had the experience as a designer to see the sheep <laughs> that this comes from and the landscape and and all of the elements that bring this medium that I'm working with to life. It's amazing and therefore inspires so much of what I do. So the names of everything, are, you know, they're all related to the ranch. Shanico is the color of one of the garments in the collection and there's dusk and there's rimrock cardigan. Everything is really inspired from the origin of the fiber itself. My name is Jeannie Carver and my husband Dan and I own and operate the Imperial Stock Ranch which is located in north central Oregon. I uh, reached out in hopes to connect with some uh, regional fashion designers who would be able to work with us to take the story forward, help, help along the path. And that was when Anna and I met and she joined our team, came into my life and has been able to interpret and create a vision far lovelier than I could have imagined out of the raw harvest of, of natural wool. We used to feel somewhat separate from urban people as ranchers and living in a rural, isolated setting. We thought we were really different. Well, I've come to learn a lot of lessons that we, we have far more in common than I thought. And not only do we have more in common, but we each enrich the other. There's, there's a need there as the source of food, fiber, food, clothing, and shelter, and the consumer, if you will, of food, clothing, and shelter. We, we need each other, and it's a very rich relationship, and one that we hope to strengthen that connection. I definitely see myself as being the urban conduit. <laughs> We are the ones building this bridge yeah, it's <laughs> across urban bridge. and rural. That's really the foundation of what we do mm -hmm. through this project. And it's bringing visibility to both sides of that equation um, in, in every way through all parts of the process. It's so different than any other design process because I'm also thinking about how that yarn is going to both be woven and how it's going to be knit. And those are totally different processes. As a designer, going through this process, it's really challenging not having the fabric in front of you. I'm literally designing all of that without knowing what it's going to look like in a garment form. And I don't know that until the very end. Things have to be really in motion going this far back in the sourcing process, much further back than, than normal design processes where you're sourcing already finished goods. To work with so it's really exciting to be doing that and it's uh, I have learned so much and I can't wait to apply it again to the future collections that we get to do <laughs> both the journey with Imperial and before when I was running my company have been uniquely guided by the community here in, in Portland and in Oregon in general I don't know if this exists anywhere else, but it feels like there's a particular kind of nurturing that happens here, and I pay it forward too. I, I just cannot believe the beautiful um, acceptance and, and uh, support that I felt, I have felt over the years. Mm -hmm.